And a Colorado man accused of kidnapping an 11-year-old girl from her Bakersfield home facing a judge in Kern County Court today. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Rochelle Mircea. Michael has a night off. Eyewitness News reporter Celine Stevens was in the courtroom today. She joins us now with some new information on this disturbing case. Celine. Rochelle, Joshua Michael Stelly was in court today for his felony arraignment. However, the date is now pushed to next week. Today I spoke with the defense attorney who plans to represent Stelly, who says he's asking the public to keep an open mind about the man who is currently facing several charges, including kidnapping and contacting a minor to commit a sexual offense. I know he has no criminal background. Um, I always ask the public to keep an open mind. This is not the first case I've had in my 23 years here in Kern County where it just looks so egregious on paper, but as the facts get unwound, it gets more and more understandable, sympathetic, or even uh, a full defense. Thursday, Joshua Michael Stelly appeared in court for his felony arraignment after being accused of kidnapping an 11-year-old Bakersfield girl in March. However, the arraignment date was then pushed to April 11th. Local defense attorney Mark Anthony Raimondo says he anticipates taking on the 29-year-old as a client and has been in communication with his family. He says Stelly was recently extradited into Kern County following his arrest after being found with the girl and a firearm in his car near Salina, Utah, just hours after she was reported missing. Um, and the actual crime situs or location was in Kern County. So Kern County will maintain jurisdiction over that. Uh, even though an individual could come from any of the 50 states. Despite Steli being from Colorado, Bakersfield College criminal justice professor Dr. Tommy Tucson says when it comes to extradition, it's all about where the crime took place. According to court documents, deputies responded to Pioneer Trailer Park on March 17th after the child's mother called authorities. The family said the child left the house barefoot around 2 a.m. Friends of the girl said she was dating an older man and they talked on social media. The documents also revealed that friends said the man wanted to pick up the girl and marry her. Surveillance footage shows Steli's truck entering the trailer park and leaving just before 4 a.m. In court, the prosecutor asked for the judge to hold Steli on no bail, saying he is a flight risk and threat to public safety. Would you be able to say if you do believe he is a flight risk or a threat to public safety? I mean, of course I'm going to say that. I don't think so, but I don't know him that well yet. So I don't, I don't see anything egregious that would make him a flight risk. He's never, from as far as I know, ever, never failed to appear before because he's never been charged with any crimes before. Steli faces eight charges, with some including kidnapping and contacting a minor to commit a sexual offense, kidnapping and lewd acts with a child under 14 years old, and carrying a concealed firearm in a vehicle. Parents just need to do a better job of protecting their children. And fortunately, you have an entity out there, an organization like Kern County Sheriff, Kern County District Attorney, that was really on top of this. The judge granted the request for Steli to be held with no bail, and he will now return to court next Thursday at 3 p.m. for his felony arraignment. Live in studio, Celine Stevens, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.